If your stream is dropping frames, blurry, or your game is lagging, then this video is for you. However, if your internet upload speed is less than 5, or your PC already has issues playing the game, unfortunately this video will not solve your issues and I'm not here to waste your time. But hopefully, I'm going to help you turn this into this. And if this video helps you or you have any questions, feel free to stop on my Twitch, the link will be in the description. If you are planning a stream, you might want to check out the sponsor of today's video, Own.TV. They are a group of graphic designers that deliver a high quality and professional face cam borders, alerts, and so much more for your stream. Streaming should be about you, entertaining your audience, and looking good while doing it. And Own.TV saves you countless hours trying to make a professionally designed stream when you can find something on their website that fits your style and personality. There are also full packages that you can get, which include overlays, face cam borders, alerts, and so much more. If you are interested, the link is in the description to get yours today. We are going to be going through a lot today, but sometimes there's a quick and easy fix that just happens to solve the problem. And one of those easy fixes that may help you is switching from Streamlabs OBS over to OBS Studios because it is known to cause less issues on OBS Studios. Another quick fix is going to Streamlabs OBS or OBS Studios and right clicking it and running it as administrator. This will open it up and it will allow it to take full advantage of your PC's resources. Assuming this was not a quick and easy fix, we're going to have to dive down into the settings of OBS or Streamlabs OBS, both which are very similar. So go to over to settings and then go over to video. The base canvas resolution should be whatever your monitor's resolution is. So if the monitor that you are streaming from is a 1920 by 1080 p monitor, type that in for the base resolution. Now the output resolution is what you are streaming to Twitch. The smaller the size, the easier it is to stream, but the smaller the size, the worse the quality. 1280 by 720p is still HD, but it is smaller so that your PC should be able to handle it easier. We can change this later on in the video if this does not work. The downscale filter will be Lanxos. This is said to be the best. And then your FPS, we're going to start off with 60 FPS because you want to stream in 60 FPS. But we, once again, will let you know if you should change this if you can't handle 60 FPS streams. Next, go over to output. This is probably what your guys' will look like. Just click this and go down to advanced. The most important part about your stream is the encoder. Are you going to be streaming with your graphics card or your CPU? If you have a GTX 1660 graphics card or better, stream with NVENC. NVENC is your graphics card or AMD. X264 is your CPU. Now, if you don't have a good graphics card like a GTX 1660 or better, because those have a special video encoder, you are going to have to go to Task Manager and start a stream and see which one is better which one uses less resources on Task Manager, and that will be the one that you should use. Turn on and force streaming service encoder settings, turn off reskill output, and we're gonna skip rate control right now, and we're gonna go over to bitrate. Bitrate is basically your upload speed. The maximum bitrate you can use is 6,000 for Twitch. 6,000 bitrate equals six upload speed. So if you only have five upload speed, you cannot use 6,000 bitrate. You're gonna have to lower that down to a little under 5,000 bitrate so that your game and other people on your network still have enough upload speed. So my recommendation is if you are at about eight upload speed or higher, turn this to 6,000. If you are at about five upload speed, make sure you have a full 1,000 kilobytes less. So five goes down to 4,000 kilobytes per second for your bitrate. Rate control, set that to CBR. That stands for constant bitrate. You want that bitrate staying the same the entire time because this makes or breaks the quality of your video. The lower the bitrate, the less bits the video pushes out to Twitch and it will make it a little bit more blurry. So if your stream is blurry, it may be because of the bitrate. Keyframe interval, set that to two. That is what Twitch wants you to do. 
preset, I would recommend turning this to quality, but if you are struggling, you can turn this to max performance. Max performance will lower the quality of your stream, but it will make sure everything runs smoothly, which is good. It's better to have a smooth running stream and a little bit bad quality than a really choppy stream. Set the profile on OBS Studios or Streamlabs OBS to high. This makes sure the PC prioritizes your stream above everything else. Turn off look ahead, turn on cycle visual tuning if you have this. GPU, set that to zero. This is only for people who have more than one graphics cards. And then max speed frames, set this to two. Don't change any of the other settings that I didn't specifically go into detail about because they really don't matter. Just copy what I have. And if it doesn't work, the main things you should change are the encoder and the bitrate, depending on your internet and depending on your PC. If none of these settings work and your stream is dropping frames, you can do one of two things. Go to settings, go to video, and what you can do is change your FPS to 30. This will lighten the load on your PC by half and this should work. If not, then you can go ahead and lower the resolution a little bit as well. If your stream looks blurry, however, you can go to output and change the bitrate, make sure it's at 6000. If it is not at 6000 and you are playing Fortnite, there may be a little bit of blurriness and that is just because Fortnite is a fast paced game that you will probably need the full 6000 bitrate. But if you're playing an easy game like Fall Guys or Among Us or something like that, uh, a lower bitrate will be perfectly fine and you guys won't be able to notice. If your stream is running perfectly fine, but you are dropping the FPS in whatever game you were playing, such as Fortnite, just know that this is normal. From here on out, your issue is not going to be trying to get a stream to work, it's going to be trying to build up your FPS. Now my best tip for this is if you are streaming in 1280 by 720p, you might as well lower the resolution you are playing at to 1280 by 720p, just so that you can get more FPS in the game that you are playing. Now, there are so many tutorials out there on how to get more FPS. I'm not going to go into every single detail on whatever game you are playing on how to improve your FPS, but just be thankful that you have a stream that works fine. My last piece of advice for you guys is if you are planning to buy a new PC or laptop to start streaming from because your one currently is not working, don't cheap out. Don't be like me. Do your research and find something that's good and make sure you you just don't cheap out and you, you don't be that one guy that doesn't do his research. If you guys have any questions, feel free to join the Discord. Join by my Twitch streams. My wonderful admins and moderators will be able to help you as well as me. Wonderful. Okay. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you leave a like, subscribe, and we'll see you guys in the next one.